All right, man, where do we go from here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and we're back with some more MHA reactions. This week, we have Villain. I'm guessing the next couple are gonna be a lot of setup and I guess sort of recovery from all that went on with Star and Stripe. If you missed all of that with Star and Stripe and Shigaraki, you can check out all my reactions on the channel now. But yes, it has been a crazy start to the season, so I can't wait to see where we go. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get into it. I want some time with the students, but this looks like the... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say the all-for-one game. Oh. Other me is crazy. He's, he's like inheriting all-for-ones. Yeah, frustrations. Damn. Bobby! He's tapping his foot. <laughs> <laughs> just still hear the foot tapping. I like the Nomu's just on this like bed made for them. Make roots even decades in advance. There's no way he has that many that many alternate plans. He's so talking on his ass. Infinite roots is just there's no way. Many friends. Was that the invisible girl? I still don't remember her name. That's just what I've always referred to her as. Here we go. Some time with the students. All right. Seems like some of them have new fits, but not all of them. Okay. Dude, okay. I think out of anyone's outfit changes, Ida's goes the craziest. Just like the dark suit goes nuts. I like how Deku still wears just like his UA uniform. I feel like it's building up to like a new hero outfit for him. Because he went through the dark arc and... Oh, no, Todoroki still wears the UA uniform. He's combining! Fire and ice! Why is he just making balls? What's the pile for? Oh shoot, they have him in like a warehouse? <laughs> Nutsack. Okay, at least Momo's realistic about the power scaling here. Yep, especially if they run away. Yep, it's it's about we now, not I. That was the point of the last season. They're all together, baby. Oh, yeah, there's there is the invisible girl. More instructions from that man. Wait, is she the mole? I, I mean, I feel like that's been like a plot line for a long time, but it's barely done anything with it. If you don't do this, we'll be killed. Wait, what? Do what he asked after you started school. Wait, what? She's spying on him. It is. Him. Wait, it's him. What? Oh my, he's just dropping this? And it's because of his parents? Holy bro, no way. And she's finding out right now. Dude, I completely even forgot that there was like a mole or even like a traitor. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Damn, they like guilted him into it. That's insane. He took a quirk from all for one for him and now they guilt trip him with it? No, that's insane. No. Oh my gosh. And she knows now. I feel like she's going to get caught. Like they're going to see her. Yeah, I can't believe he hasn't been crushed by the guilt yet. Damn. He thought if all for one was defeated, he could be with everyone else. That's how they found it back in like the first season. That's how they found the arena. That's nuts. Bro, his parents are trash. Uh, uh, wait, did Deku just wander over? Did she call him? Oh, he did. Uh, she called him. He'll admit it now. He'll admit it. He's the guilt has overcome him. He didn't say anything when they all. Oh my gosh. I never even noticed. I mean, there's so many of them. He just stayed quiet. Dude. I guess his armor hasn't changed that much. I wonder if he got jealous because he was on like the flip side of things. Wait, Deku noticed even then? Bro, Deku's empathy is his true power, honestly. 
He's admitting it. Oh! Damn! What is happening? It's just dropping this bombshell out of nowhere. I guess I, th I forgot that plot line even existed. Yeah, what happens when you run out of paths all for one? I feel like we're gonna bring this visual back up again and like paths are gonna, there's only gonna be like one or something. It's gonna come to like two. Oh, he's literally referring to, to him right now. They were like disappointed in him that he didn't have a quirk. Dude. They wanted this exceptional son. Oh, that's why he gets stomach aches. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so sad. Bro. Bro, his parents are trash. And that's how they got to the training camp. Damn, man. He felt a sort of empathy probably towards Deku. Oh, they're dragging him. Wait. He's actually firing at Deku? Oh my god, she took the hit! Bro, the fact that he actually fired at him. He didn't feel empathy towards Deku. He got mad. Oh. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Now what? Bro, this is like actual child abuse too, bro. What a bombshell, dog. I thought it was going to be a choke couple apps. Yeah, dude, I, like I said, that, that feels like forever ago. I thought it would have been a teacher. Oh, they're all in the room? Oh, no, this is so awkward. Oh, no. Yeah, seriously. Would he have kept going? He didn't come out in the minute. He got caught. They probably know nothing. And the plan that he got caught, all for one, yeah, they didn't tell them anything. They just used them. All for one letting leave a, a possibility like that open. At least you can admit that. You trash can parents. Yeah, I was gonna say, the guilt he probably would have felt if like fellow students had died. Damn. Nah, Deku's gonna correct him. Yep. Uh-huh. Talk, I forgot about that. No, that was a strange episode, but it probably makes way more sense now. Oh, I gotta rewatch that one now. Dang. That's it, Deku. I wonder if he's like, he's like, this is who you need to be. It's crazy hearing Bakugo say that. Like, he wanted him to say that. That's a really cool moment. Mmm. Mmm. It makes sense that they wouldn't be able to contact him. You wouldn't leave a hole like that. But that's only if all for one contacts Aoyama. They could use it to their benefit? Aww. Damn! What an F, bro. Man, after finding it all out, I really do feel bad for him. That is insane. I mean, his parents were just these wealthy, spoiled kids. That they, like, they, I think they said they never wanted for anything. Except when they had a child, they wanted this child to be great. So they were so desperate that they, they gave him this quirk from some dude on the street that said he could give it to them. Turned out to be all for one, and now they're just roped into that. But like I said, doesn't that mean that all for one has to contact? I mean, yeah, I... I I imagine he will though. I know Oliver one said he has like a million possible plans, but to have a plant inside this the inside the school, he's definitely going to contact Aoyama. It doesn't I mean who knows how soon it'll be, but it will happen. So they just have to look at it on the positive side of things. And Deku knowing truly who Aoyama is, especially because of all the cheese stuff and everything that's happened, he knows that he's being genuine and he has genuine tears right now. It's not tears and fear for his life, it's tears in, in sadness that he could have harmed one of his friends or people that he called his friends. But I feel like the biggest moment of that episode... Let me rewatch it real quick. He said, take my hand. He said, that's it, Deku. It's like Bakugo is starting to slowly realize Deku's place in the world and his role that he needs to play in inheriting All Might's will. It's super cool, man. He won't say it out loud, but he's like thinking. He's like, yes, you need to be this person that will pull people up from the darkness and like and take them with you, basically. That's just a really subtle moment, but an, an absolutely amazing moment. But guys, that's been it for my reaction to My Hero Academia this week. What a bombshell episode just out of nowhere drop a like on this one if you haven't already i'll catch you next time peace peace